Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hello, cross watchers. Welcome, newbies. And please be sure to say hi in the comments. I'm going to pull to activate the reading from um, Guides of the Hidden Realms. This is a brand new deck by Colette Baron Reed. It was uh, born out of um, a series of paintings that she did in an art class or began in an art class and then continued on because creatures kept coming through with messages, but of course. And um, she and Hay House collaborated to put them into an oracle deck. So what's your message, Scorpio? The sovereignty of magic. Someone else got this. Synchronicities, miracles, spiritual forces. The sovereignty of magic, card number five. Um, so let me read it to you right out of the guidebook. It says, an invisible power operates in every aspect of our lives. This truth is woven through the cosmos. Magic is the metaphysical realm, always sovereign to the material. When we remember our inherent connection to the divine and engage our intuition and our partnership with the universe, look at little Leo back there, we awaken to the messages and miracles around us. Symbols and synchronicities serve as a reminder that the universe is always listening and engaging us. This is your sign, the answer you have been waiting for. The invisible world is creating necessary shifts so the outer world will reflect the intentions you've set in motion. Pay attention to those feelings of inexplicable connection and uncanny knowing. The music of destiny is calling your name and surprising opportunities are aligning for your highest good. No matter the challenges, step forward. Trust that your abundance is assured and prepare to be amazed. I love it. I love the sovereignty, her crown. Um, it's crown, but it's definitely feeling like we've got some magic protection for you. So breathe in to your intuitive awareness your inner knowing your connection to all that is um, and invite the sovereignty of magic over the material little leo is quite um vocal today and a little um mischievous he's looking for trouble so if he can't get with the program I may need to remove him, put him upstairs, which I hate to do. He's getting too old for that. But we're going to see if he can um, cooperate. Here we go. I am pulling, oh, nice, strength. Yes, overcoming obstacles. Um, it feels to me like this is, um, the overall energy is about how you help each other. This is the, let's give each other a leg up kind of a card. There is a powerful connection between you and your person um, where even if you're not together in the physical, there's something at 5D that feels like it's how you manage to put one foot in front of the other with regard to the connection. So your person coming through with the world card, this is about lessons being learned cycles closing out so a new cycle can begin it's saturn's energy in their blocker challenge the page of swords there's like they're looking for some assurances here some certainty and their opportunity uh going forward is is that the answers are within right they're going to reach a crossroads moment where they're going to understand that they have to quiet all the noise stop looking outside themselves and go within to find a meaning and the purpose of an important decision that they have to make. 
you're coming in with all the magic of intention and manifestation, but there could be some challenges for you around your sense of mastery in that regard. Your block or challenge is with regard to a relationship of equals where you're mutually invested, the give and take, the reciprocity of it all. And the opportunity for you going forward is to understand that your sense of worth and value is an inside job, right? It's not dependent on this person or anything else other than your own sense of worth and value to find your sense of stability and security. So let's jump in with the clarifiers to get the details. As always, these energies can come through reverse, so just take it as it resonates for you. It's a general, not a personal, so it might not resonate for everybody. I do offer personal readings. The link is always below. Oh my God, if he starts knocking over bottles, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Um, yeah, and it'll take you to that information. Here we go, strength card. There is a <laughs> two steps forward, one step back kind of an energy. Um, the strength card is about, right, gathering up our strength, courage, and confidence to know we can overcome obstacles and then have the will to make progress and to move in that direction. But sometimes it takes time. And so we're not sure with regard to the timing of it, right? Like, is the timing right for me to make this move or, toward my person or then make a move toward me? There is some sort of weighing, um, the, you know, what you're really dealing with in real time. Sometimes the two of pentacles can represent being on the fence or being conflicted or torn about something. So I feel there are built in stop gaps here for whatever it is you're trying to overcome. And I would say continue moving forward, continue coming from an energy of the will to make progress, the will to overcome the challenges, and then let it you know, unfold organically. That's the overall energy for the reading. I'm scared to see where he goes. <laughs> okay. The world card, present energy for your person. Oh. We're closing, this person might, there might have been something that happened between you. I love all the water energy here. Um, that has you sort of either in some form of separation or not very good or frequent communication. And it looks like this person is trying to close out a cycle where they've been feeling very defeated in the relationship, um, right? And, and for whatever reasons, because it's gonna be a little different for each of you, um, what are they learning from this at this time? And um, what are they contributing to the shift of the cycle? So let's look at the Page of Swords because that would be their block or challenge. Interesting. I feel like this person um, isn't really prepared for dealing with something head on. So if we're thinking of the Page of Swords as that little spire detective of the tarot, that's out there scouting out information scrolling feeds right it's it, it feels very much like someone who's trying to hedge their bets and while they're persevering and it's kind of exhausting and it's something this person really doesn't want to deal with head on <sighs> so annoying um and the hanged man underneath is just this energy of yeah i'm just going to press pause I'm not prepared to deal with this until I have more information. And that's possibly coming from 
a place where, you know, because if they always feel like they're setting themselves up for a fall, self-sabotage, right? Or a sense of defeat. Some days we have good days, some days not so much. Okay, so what I'm trying to communicate to you here is this is someone who has sort of an avoidant nature and um, tends towards something more self sabotage -y. And um, as a result, there's some lack of movement, no communication, potential separation. It is a temporary standstill, but that doesn't make it easier for you, correct? So let's see the opportunity for this person in the future is the Two of Swords. Right. So this person looking outside themselves for the answers and what they're about to um, understand, learn from Saturn, the great teacher, is that the only way to clear up their confusion, their emotional overwhelm, the highs, the lows, um, is to go within, right? The answers are there. The truths lie there. And that takes some um, spiritual maturity, spiritual wisdom, to know that in time all these um, confusing energies, emotionally overwhelming energies, uncertainties, um, you know, it all comes into flow and balance. But this person needs to look within. So perhaps that's what this Seven of Pentacles is about, is letting you know that the will to move forward and overcome the obstacles does take time on both sides. And if you're dealing with somebody who tends to be avoidant, a self-saboteur, who gets easily thrown by situations of an emotional nature, Queen of Cups, um, they either create situations that feel unfair, like an unfair fight or something that just feels, uh, leaves them easily defeated, avoidant. It's a struggle, constant struggle for this person. So they tend to kind of, um, opt out. But what I love about the cards from the bottom of the deck for this person is they're all major arcana. So what's happening internally, because this is, you know, in their unconscious awareness, is some profound change. And that's a good thing. So lessons are being learned. They won't be avoidant forever. Um, and their crossroads moment is approaching. So for you, we have the magician. You are absolutely manifesting from this. I love the sovereignty of magic card for you because it is talking about um, your own power, your own ability to kind of create your destiny and the communication that you desire. What will make you happy is the opportunity for some open dialogue. But you now are coming through as the creator of that, of that reality, of that opportunity. Um, right? Especially if this is someone that you feel very connected to. Um, you have to sort of recognize your own sense of mastery in certain realms where your person struggles. And that's how you kind of help each other. That is what this is all about. I love that. So in your um, blocker challenge, Six of Pentacles, right? It's kind of one-sided right now. And I am getting this Five of Cups is a part of you that keeps looking back to the past for the reference point. You're playing this Page of Swords energy as much as they are. Um, so, and perhaps that's part of the mission you're here to mirror for each other. Um, the energy, the, the lessons that you're here to mirror for each other is that the answers aren't really out there. 
and we can't keep hedging our bets. Sometimes it's about going within for the clarity, for um, our sense of strength, to get our game face on, to face things head on. It does seem like you're open to some kind of reconciliation, but you're not super positive that it's gonna come out with a relationship of equals where there's equal give and take and mutual investment in the connection. And sometimes we do have to look to the past as a reference because it's like the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior, you've heard that said. So it's not that the Five of Cups is the problem, um, it's just that it, it feels like it's, um, it's almost tainting your view of what's possible. And that's your blocker challenge. So let's see uh, your opportunity with the Five of Pentacles. King of Swords, Ten of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Nice. So the path out of this sense of um, feeling forsaken is what I'm really getting. Like, you know, kind of left in limbo to some degree and feeling forsaken, but the opportunity comes from some form of honor, some, some gesture, uh, something more cooperative between you, something that shows you that there is, uh, like you're on the same page. And maybe it's not full on Six of Pentacles, but the Three of Pentacles is where it all begins. It's where we kind of come together and say, yeah, I want what you want. I, I, I want what you want. I may not be ready for it in the same form, um, but I mean you no harm. I, I come in with honor and integrity. Um, and the... King of Swords also has a plan, tends to be the strategist of the tarot. And I have a feeling that just this communication, even if this person doesn't say much, it comes in as a huge relief, uh, a way, like take a load off of your mind, off your heart, off your sense of um, feeling unable to access the warmth of the connection. King of Swords can be a little cool and aloof. Um, and not too warm and fuzzy, but if the message that is brought to you is, but I want what you want, I've given it a lot of thought. And while it's confusing AF, um, I kind of see the path clearly. You know, here's the truth of it. Here's the truth of it. So it may be that their opportunity comes in as something that is shared by the two of you mutually, cooperatively, co-creatively. And it takes you out of this feeling of abandonment or rejection or being forsaken or devalued. So that feels good. Um, I do want to kind of go in, uh, in the extended, I want to look at this Whatever the dynamic that's going on with this person, I sort of want to continue on that theme. What are they really up against or dealing with? Um, their internal framework, how they see you at this time, uh, their intentions toward you and the connection. So that's what I'm going to explore in the extended and the links for that are below. Please remember there are a couple options. So one says one time extended, that's for this one only. The other says Scorpio monthly, and you get access to four different collections. So be sure you read that. Um, also, I'm going to give you the astrology here, but I have been letting everyone know um, that the situation here on YouTube has changed, not necessarily for the better for many of us. Um, algorithmic changes have been shifted to support new channels, which is great. I was once new and could have used that support and shorts, right? Shorts to compete with TikTok and Amazon Reels. So what does that mean? In the last month and a half to two months, I, I and I am not alone. And many of you have come into the comments to say, yep, I heard it from another tarot reader, that those of us that are kind of growing real sort of, you know, one little step at a time aren't being pushed in front of new viewers anymore. 
right? So I gotta work double duty to make sure I keep my subscribers up. So please, if you haven't by now, and maybe if you're brand new to the channel, give it a go, subscribe below, it costs you nothing. And so as the channel grows and if it can continue, for example, my subscribers have dropped 90% in a month and a half. That's ridiculous. I've been on the planet, on the planet, on the platform almost five years and I've never seen metrics like that. And nothing I've been doing here has changed whatever other than the algorithm. Um, so first is subscribe if you haven't, that's my big ask. The second is views. And some of you have made a difference. There have been some people that have heard my little spiel here that have gone in and caught up on some readings they didn't see or that they wa watched a while back. Just go through the playlist for your sign or for your person's sign and they watch, you know, a title would speak to them and it is making a difference. So I do want to say thank you to those um who have been supportive in that way it it, it 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 does take a little time to go back and watch a video or to go into a whole slew of them and comment with like emoji bombs some girl called it emoji bombs so i'm asking for your help because this is all i do um this is my calling and it's how i support myself and if i if i can't keep my roof over my head i can't be here anymore so anything you can do to support me that way, views and subscriptions is really all I'm asking for because that doesn't cost anything. Um, and anything more than that is icing on the cake. And I love you all very dearly and would really love to stay. It is not easy for me to humble myself and ask for this kind of help. So let's make a little magic together. Okay, so here we go. Strength card is Leo. Chariot is Cancerian energy. We're in Cancer season, so, and the Queen of Cups is also Cancerian energy. So this whole reading feels a little um, like it's present energy. We've got the world card, Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. High Priestess is the moon. We have Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, Hangman is Neptune, which rules Pisces. Temperance is Sagittarian energy. The magician is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. The sun is the sun. It does rule Leo. Page of Swords is out for a second time here. King of Swords is Aquarian energy. So that's what I have for you so far, Scorpio. I'm going to jump to the extended. Um, don't forget your oracle message. Very powerful. So I'm headed there. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.